you don't get anything if you don't lose anything. So kill your darlings and destroy. Oh, a very nice memory of my early paintings. I won a competition of our local bank. <laughs> we had to draw a house, our home, something. Uh, and I got a very fancy um, a school bag. Yeah. But it was very trendy and I was very happy about winning this. I think the best advice um, was one of my teachers in painting and uh, she, she had this advice to kill your darlings. And kill your darlings in a painting means then not to focus on certain spots which you maybe like or you just want to, to keep them, but to be able to really create something you have to destroy and it's always something you lose but you, get, you don't get anything if you don't lose anything. So kill your darlings and destroy. Encourage yourself to, to go ahead with this. So I, I think an ad advice for younger artists uh, would be not, not to be uh, too shy, just to go ahead, just to do it. And don't uh, be frustrated if uh, the doubts arise, because uh, self-doubts are necessary for the process. And um, it's sometimes it's painful and sometimes you think um, what you're doing is uh, worth nothing and but it's, that's okay. You don't get further if you don't uh, have this self-doubt. <laughs>quite important that art is political and I as an abstract painter which is very connected to nature and to organic forms um, I read with a lot of interest the artist statements or interviews with colleagues who uh, start interpreting their own works their own natural works now um, as political and uh, about endangered species or whatever. And as I know, what I'm doing is not. And that's okay. <laughs> it was just like a natural flow, the development of the theme. I, I just always came back to it. And of course, my, my early paintings were much more natural or, or realistic. Um, my early paintings were much more realistic and um, I started to get more and more abstract and it's, uh, it's normal that um, during the years and the process um, you focus on something else and now the color white and using the white uh, gessoed canvas uh, this is something which is very interesting for me and using painted white and gessoed white and uh, this is um, uh, a theme at the moment but um, yeah I always came back to, to the theme. <laughs>